Real problem with solar cars. The subject of solar cars is often in the news, but not always for the right reasons. In fact, it seems that the solar powered electric car is encountering a number of problems. Are you aware of any? In any case, we'll tell you a little more about it in the rest of this video. Do you know who really believes in solar cars? Very few people, unfortunately. Some manufacturers are putting all their energy and resources into bringing these projects to fruition. However, not everything seems to be going according to plan. When it comes to energy transition and the rise of all electricity, solar seems to be the ideal solution. It's true that people are worried about the future. Many are anxious about having to replace their combustion-powered cars with electric ones, which are much more expensive to buy. Solar power is therefore a source of hope for all these middle-class families. This vehicle should be able to provide unlimited free energy. Let's get back to reality. Some solar car projects are struggling to get off the ground or have simply been abandoned. Are you ready to find out why? How did the solar car come into being? There are many technological advances in the field of solar cars. Let's start with the Sono Scion. This strange electric car with its out of this world looks was a giant flop. And yet when the project was first launched, it aroused a great deal of interest. In fact, it promised to recover around 30 kilometers a day, thanks to its 7.5 meter squares of solar panels. These are made up of 248 solar cells covering the entire body. The originality of this project particularly appealed to consumers, as did its very attractive price. However, financial realism soon put an end to its innovation. Sono Motors was behind this revolution, but the company's coffers were empty. Abandoning the project was therefore inevitable. The Sono Scion never made it past the industrialization phase. What's more, its launch marketing would have been very badly managed. Hard to see a project through to the end when it starts so badly, isn't it? Aptera Sol is also running smoothly on the solar car project. Admittedly, its airplane-like design is very appealing, but it's still struggling to get off the ground. Aptera was certainly the first company to enter the solar car race. Unfortunately, this is not the Californian manufacturer's first attempt. This vehicle would have the footprint of a large sedan, but the carrying capacity of a cargo bike. For the moment, we still have no indication of the delivery times envisaged. But what about other manufacturers? It's true that the various brands we've just mentioned were born with electric bikes. However, they are far from being the only ones on the market. Traditional manufacturers are trying to follow in their footsteps. For them, it's not a question of building solar-powered cars, but rather of extending their range. In the rest of this video, we'll look at the process of bringing the world's first solar-powered car to market. Despite numerous failures, Lightyear is responsible for this initial success. In 2013, several students from the Technical University of Eindhoven in the Netherlands took part in the famous Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. There, they discovered experimental solar-powered vehicles. They returned to the show several years later. In 2016, they decided to take the plunge and found the Lightyear company. In 2017, they presented computer simulations. In 2019, they managed to get a first working prototype on the road. Last June, they finally announced the creation of the first production-ready car. Could this be the start of a revolution in the automotive world? It's true that electric cars are moving in the right direction. However, they are not yet perfected in many respects. Indeed, recharging infrastructures and range limits make life a little too complex for the driver. Can solar-powered cars solve all these problems? This is what the Lightyear Zero, the brand's first model, has attempted to do. Patented double-curved solar panels are installed on the model's roof and hood. These recharge the battery that powers the car's electric motor. Used to their full potential, these voltaic panels can add over 70 kilometers of range per day to the vehicle. They can also be charged from the main socket, in the same way as a conventional electric car. Of course, it's all a question of climate. In the best of situations, it would be possible to obtain between 6,000 and 11,000 kilometers of free effortless range every year. Are you ready to take the plunge? Especially as Lightyear has no intention of stopping there, the brand is now focusing on the launch of the Lightyear 2. This sedan claims 800 kilometers of travel between recharges. The advertised price is derisory for such a vehicle. We're talking just 40,000 euros. With 60,000 pre-orders, the project is a great success. If all goes according to plan, it should be on the market by 2025. Will this technological invention really see the light of day? To this day, doubts persist, particularly on the financial front. So why can't the solar car convince anyone? The idea is promising, but the obstacles are many. Solar panels alone cannot produce enough energy to power a car. 
technological improvements are needed. The climate can also pose a problem. Solar energy is variable, and countries with low levels of sunshine don't have access to enough of it. It's also complicated to make solar panels work as efficiently as possible. Innovations are being developed to improve these various aspects. Let's take the light year 2 as an example. As we've seen, its future is still uncertain. Will mass production of the light year's solar car really see the light of day? It's true that this question remains unanswered. A few weeks ago, Dutch startup Lightyear announced that it was halting production of the Lightyear Zero, the first solar-powered car is taking on water. Payments to the operating company responsible for Lightyear Zero's production, Atlas Technology, has also been suspended. This decision affects all those who chose to participate in this major project. In addition, the insolvency of the Atlas Technology subsidiary has also been declared by a Dutch court. A receiver has just been appointed. Will the Lightyear concept really be able to continue? Lightyear was quick to announce its regrets at this setback, between pre-orders from companies, rental companies, leasing companies, and private individuals. The Lightyear 2 had many people dreaming. Will they see the light? Is the solar-powered car a utopia? When we speak of a solar car, these terms are not really representative of reality. We're talking about electric cars with small battery capacities and solar-powered extenders. Solar panels are more of a backup power source than anything else. It's true that these models can eventually cover the weekly needs of their users. However, this is more of a case of hybrid motorization. Indeed, if your battery is empty, you won't be able to move forward, whether the sun is shining or not. In full sunlight, no solar-powered car has the capacity to produce enough energy for the vehicle to move forward. Some car makers, such as Toyota, are already integrating solar power as an energy supplement for their vehicles. To be able to drive on the sun's energy, however, much larger surfaces would be needed. As things stand, all these projects are utopian. Rather, they are unreliable marketing promises. Solar energy will hardly be able to cover the traffic needs of a car. It might be smarter to have a home equipped with high-performance solar panels. You could then recharge your electric car on a daily basis. What does the future hold for all these projects? How do you see the traffic of the future? Where do you stand in the face of all these changes? Don't hesitate to give us your opinion by leaving us a comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. See you soon on ATEC.